Okay, a little video on how to set up your magnetic declination number for uh, your GPS on a multi wee board. So this is used if you've got a GPS and you want to run missions and um, do return to home. You have to tell your copter where in the world it is so when it picks up the GPS signal it knows um, when to come back to you. So we'll use Sydney Australia as a bit of an example. Um, just punch into Google um, magnetic declination um, just pick out a website I use this one that's the first one that comes up you can punch in your location Australia Sydney copied and pasted that do a spreadsheet okay so what's important here is the magnetic declination number which is the 12 degrees and 31 minutes and the east which is positive so that's all that's relevant to you. Okay, so if you have a look in your multi we sketch about, or oh, how far down are we, two thirds of the way down the page, you'll come across your magnetic declination. Now, it gives you a link to a website to find your magnetic declination, and it also tells you what you need to do. So it says convert the degrees plus the minutes into a decimal degree by the degrees plus the minutes uh, multiplied by 1 over 60. Note the sign of the declination. It should be either negative or positive, or east, west or east. And you need to put that little F after it. Okay, so it gives you an example there for Buda Budapest. It's 3.96F. Okay, so <coughs> here's what you do. Here's the calculation. I, I just did this in a little spreadsheet. So degrees which is the 12 the 32 minutes the 1 divided by 60 the 1 divided by 60 which is that number multiplied by the minutes which is that there and then the degrees plus the 1 divided by 60 okay so bottom line is you put the 12 oh, you put the 12 in there you put the 32 in there and you come up with a 12.53. Now, east is positive, so east is positive. If it was west, it would be negative. My number would be a negative, negative 12.53. But seeing I'm east, I'm a positive 12.53F. So I go down to my magnetic declination number. I punch in 12.53. It's already got the F there. Save that. Do the uh, verify and upload and people that is as easy as it gets. Now if you want to get this little calculation, I suggest you set one up on your own little spreadsheet. If you go to the Hobby King page, go to multi rotors and um, flight controllers. There's a purple uh, tab there that's got this calculation there. You can download this very, this very um, uh, file here and uh, set it up for yourself. So basically that's about as hard as it gets, people.